GTM Podcast Buddha Stories วิดูระ The Wise Episode 1 Hello everyone You are listening to GTM Podcast Buddha Stories Here we listen to the story of the Lord Buddha's past life to gain a deeper understanding of Buddhist wisdom Now we start with the new stories which is called Vidura the Wise. In this mini-series, we are now start learning about the Ten Perfections. The Ten Perfections are a list of virtues that when practiced, bring happiness and enlightenment into everyday life. Before we begin, please subscribe, like and share our podcast to continue supporting us. Now, let us begin with our story. In the following story that we present on this episode, we will study the lifetime of the great Bodhisatta Vidura Pandita, or Vidura the Wise, who possessed outstanding truthfulness perfection, which caused Satcha Parami in Pali language. What is the truthfulness perfection? Truthfulness means being sincere, honest, straightforward, purposeful, and true in body, speech, and mind. Truthfulness perfection means saying and doing something in such a decisive way that is possible for a goal to be achieved by overcoming all obstacles. The biggest obstacle in gaining truthfulness is when one's words are meaningless. During the great Bodhisattva's pursuit of perfections to become enlightened as the Lord Buddha, he faced many types of obstacles. There was gain and there was loss. There was fame and there was disgrace. There was praise and there was blame. He may have been bullied or even murdered. These fluctuations in fortunes can be discouraged and cause a person to give up, but not so with the Bodhisatta. He will never stop cultivating truthfulness perfection to stay true to his aspiration of becoming the enlightened one. For those who seek truthfulness perfection, the practice of meditative attainments for enlightenment is the greatest aim of life. A bodhisattva is willing to lay down his life to achieve the highest aim, which is to remove all defilements from his mind and become enlightened. Take our Lord Buddha for example. In his final rebirth, just before he became enlightened, he invoked his truthfulness perfection by making a vow. He said, Although my blood and flesh may dry up, leaving only skin, tendons, and bones, as long as I cannot yet attain the Dharma, I will remain here until I die. This was the intensity of our Bodhisattva's truthfulness perfection, as he prepared to go within himself to seek the truth. He was willing to lay down his life for it. All great bodhisattvas must be willing to lay down their lives as they train themselves to attain the Dhamma within. Once they attain the knowledge within, it allows them to completely eradicate their defilements. Their minds will become purer, clearer, and as bright as the sun and all darkness will be destroyed. It is like the morning star, which travels its path straight forward, regardless of the season. In cultivating truthfulness perfection, a bodhisattva would rather die than to go off course. Whenever you want to do something good, you should not hesitate. You should strive to finish it you must stay on course. 
especially when it comes to practice of meditation, which is the fundamental duty of human being. We must be willing to lay down our lives to attain the Dhamma within us. When the Lord Buddha was reborn as Vidura, the wise, he became an incredibly astute man and would give the loveliest Dharma lectures. His most important, obvious virtue was outstanding truthfulness perfection, and he strived to cultivate this perfection into his very existence. As our story begins, we travel back in the time to when the Lord Buddha was staying at the Jetavana temple, which had been built and offered by the wealthy man, Anatta Pindika. The Buddhist monks were discussing among themselves the amazing fact that the Lord Buddha's wisdom was so great, broad, quick, joyful, sharp, and understanding that he could destroy false accusations. He could solve every problem any king or wise man presented to him. He could tame wrong view individuals and help them to practice faith and morality, which could lead them to nirvana. The Lord Buddha heard that conversation and came to the Dharma hall and asked, Monks, what are you conversing about? After the monks answered, the Lord Buddha began, becoming enlightened as a Buddha and being able to destroy false accusations as well as advising the people and kings is not so amazing because when I was working toward enlightenment, I could also destroy other people's false accusations. During my past life as Vidura the Wise, I tamed an ogre chief named Punaka with my wisdom high on the Karakiri mountain. As a result, the ogre chief observed the five precepts and afterwards was willing to give me his life. When the Buddha finished speaking, the monk asked him to tell them more about the story of Vidura the wise who could climb the ogre chief and cause him to observe the five precepts. Will the Lord Buddha continue his teaching? What would happen next? Stay tuned next time for the story of Vidura the wise who excels in truthfulness perfection. <laughs>